The fittest winner is not just a journey of six contestants. It's a journey of six contestants and all of you, the online participants. We are doing this together. We are striving to be great together. Feathered, froed, frizzy, or flared. Beehive, blunt, or barely there. Lengthy, locked, or layers that linger, red, relaxed, or run through your fingers. Silvery, short, or straight out of bed. A beauty queen reigns in the hairs on your head. Hey! How are you guys so doing? Great. Welcome to Lulu. Oh, thank you. Hi, you guys. Hi, good morning. Okay, so I want you guys to meet Lulu. This is Lulu. I love morning. Lulu. So listen, this is a hair care salon. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I love it is that, you know, the whole time like I've been straightening my hair for the salon, but I really want to make sure that my hair stays healthy. So she does a lot of treatments here for natural hair, whatever kind of hair that you have, you need to take care of it. And you guys are super lucky because she's going to give you a consultation on what she thinks that your hair needs. And you guys are going to get styled and made over and get your crowns. And now you got your body right, your mind is tight, and your hair is going to be beautiful. Okay? So you guys excited? Yes. yes. Too. Okay. okay, guys. Glad to have you. Tell me your Thank name again. You, Judy. Judy and Blanche. Blanche. Oh, I like that name. Okay, so you have great natural flowing curls. And I see you. Are transitioning. <laughs> I know. Hey, I know. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. We do whatever we can to take care of the hair. And for us, beautiful hair is healthy hair. So that's why we start with treatments first. So you'll look up right over your left shoulder and see the menus there. We start with the treatment. And then we also add some boost. You can think of it just getting a vitamin shot, mm -hmm. you know, in your smoothie or shake. We put that in the conditioners mm -hmm. and that just boosts your treatment. So you'll sit under the steamer for about 30 minutes. Then we'll uh, do the the styling after but the wonderful thing is again that we want to make sure that the hair is actually healthy can I touch you yes. a little bit okay good well you at least have a good foundation we'll cut it up shape it and get you going get you rolling and I see you may need some uh, trimming on your ends has it been a while it's been over a year. okay <laughs> oh! Over here, okay, good. Hey, yeah. this is, you know, this is a great platform for us to really be able to showcase the beauty of the transformation from the treatments, and you'll start to see uh, results immediately. Excellent. Okay, you guys ready to get started? Yes, thank you. Good, yes, thank we are too. All right, hi, hi. Judy. Okay, yes. so I understand that you haven't had your hair trimmed in about a year yeah shame on you yes. oops did i say that oh my god um okay yeah. so the good thing is you have beautiful locks did you have color here um, i the... did a few years ago okay That's awesome left. okay yeah. so your curls are beautiful they fall very nicely but if you give your hair some shape the um, definition will come out a little bit further okay. plus we'll have a steam treatment in addition to that we'll start with taking off your dead ends okay. and then giving your hair some shape then we'll put you under the steamer and that'll really bring that curl pattern uh, back to life so I'm gonna start with a cut and I'm glad that you came with your hair freshly washed and dried because this is the best way to cut your hair okay. to see how it falls naturally this way, we're cutting it according to your curl pattern, and I'm gonna slide and angle cut your hair and pick up a lot of those dead ends and get you a nice, like I said, curl pattern going. Create some soft layers so that the hair just bounce right back into place. Mm -hmm. I would recommend that you keep up with your trim a little bit more often. Just start easing into the habit. Try not to go beyond 12 weeks. Your hair probably tangles for different reasons. Uh -huh. Uh, but I notice as I'm rubbing my hands through your hair, it's pretty dry on the surface, surface layer. The spoiled treatment that we're going to get into very shortly will take care of that. And as you can see, even in here, now the curls are lifting up a little bit more. And that's what the hair really needs to be rejuvenated and revived. Something you might want to consider, you don't always have to shampoo. Okay. You can rinse your hair really well. Uh, in the shower, let the warm water just run all over your tresses. Then you want to get hit it with a shot of cool, but you can add some conditioner. Uh, we have the I Love Lulu conditioner. We call it the hair softener. Uh, and it's just going to soften those layers and um, really get some moisture in the hair. Okay. Before rinsing it all out, you can just kind of lightly dip your head back, lean it back just lightly in the shower and let the water just kind of lightly rinse it out, but not all the way. 
okay. you can leave it in. And then I would recommend using the gel mm -hmm. to um, enhance the curls even further. Okay. So can you see here how now this is really just kind of being plumped up. Yeah. I'm giving you some long layers here. We don't want to go too deep with the layers and create that poodle look. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm glad we're in agreement. <laughs> All right, how was the steam? It was great, it was different. Oh, well, good. Yeah, for me. <laughs> a um, different experience. The, right, it felt good though. My okay, scalp. awesome. Yeah. So right now I'm going to just blend your curls together. This okay. is what we call our shampoo brush and it's really a detangler. Okay. Uh, so I'm just gonna go through the hair and some people don't encourage combing out of uh, curls, but I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I believe just, you know, lightly combing them out and as you can see right here it's hardly no hair in the brush mm -hmm. and this is going to make sure your hair doesn't snag on itself and depending on the curl pattern that you have um, this brush really though helps to ease right through that those textures no matter what kind of curl pattern you have but mm -hmm. the length of time I guess it takes is depending on the curl pattern that you have so as you can see it's nice and smoothed out if you dry it off too much you won't get each and every strand or keep that hair nice and soaking wet. And that's what creates a lot of the moisture, cuts out most of the frizz, mm -hmm. and defines those curls. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna apply some product. So okay. I'm gonna towel dry your hair lightly. This is a microfiber towel. The difference mm -hmm. is it keeps the water and the moisture in the hair. Whereas a cotton towel is just gonna kinda dry it out. Oh cool. <laughs> it's good for running mm -hmm. and sweat. Not mm -hmm. the best for hair. Now I'm using Shelly Jelly, and I'm putting about a quarter size amount in my hand just to enhance that curl pattern. Doesn't make it hard, but it keeps enough control, keeps enough curl in the mm -hmm. hair, defines it, and then your hair should stay put. But you wanna make sure that you don't really work, maneuver the hair too much, or that causes a lot of frizz. Now just scrunch it and lift it up just a little bit. So yeah. see how as it starts to come towards your face, those curls are really developing. Okay, blungy. Yeah. So now I just, you know, did a light shampoo on your hair and I'm gonna just run my hands through it and pick it out. Tell me a little bit about your experience or uh, your oh journey with your hair up until this point. Well, I've been natural now for about two years. Okay. Um, so I let the relaxer out um, okay. a while ago, but I've always been you know, lazy about treating it or just like, you know, um, following up with my hair. Okay. So I tend to weave it often just to kind of like not think about it for like two months. So okay. I rather always like just throw cover it on, up. Cover it up. Mask. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, that's why we're here. Um, the beautiful thing about natural hair is getting to know it. So the more you learn about your hair, uh, the better you'll like it. The only problem is, you can't cover it up and get yeah. to know it. So, exactly. I'm, I'm proud of you for taking out the weave. Now we wanna expose it. Let it get some nourishment, let it get some moisture, and give you an opportunity to play around with it. Mm -hmm. What you're gonna do today is consider the big chop. Um, we well, call that a new beginning. Yeah. It's a friendlier <laughs> way, less scary and less intimidating, but the new beginning basically is taking you from the length that you have to something new and something more comfortable. When you wear it shorter and you've chopped off all of that bad hair, that dead hair, then you can kind of gradually grow with it. You know, it won't be as much hassle. Yeah. Then by the time you get some length to whatever length that you desire, you'll have good experience with it. So you'll know what to do. Every once in a while, I'll stretch my hair out, blow it out, just to see the condition of it. Because sometimes with curly hair, everything is just all mixed up together and you don't know if the ends are good or you know the condition is great. Right. So I like to stretch it out every once in a while. Don't worry about the shaping now. I just go right in. Uh, I just cut it so nice. where, where you can't turn around, uh, but this uh -huh. is good for your hair mm -hmm. and you'll thank me later. Mm -hmm. Hopefully before we're done. This is gonna give you a nice mm -hmm. pattern, a nice shape, give you something to play around with. Mm. It'll have some nice um, taper, a nice contour. Edges will go a little bit shorter. That way all you have to worry about, all you have to play with is the top. Again, this is gonna give you an opportunity to get to know your hair, become friends with it. You spoke of how you didn't like it. You want to like your hair. 
and if you decide you want to have a different look is that a tear yeah oh my gosh so <laughs> now i have to hug you and i'm I mad know. <laughs> don't worry listen the big shop i guess it can be pretty emotional um i've had plenty of people cry before but hopefully i know it's just hair it's not a big deal it's fine well it's your hair and it, you're attached to it it's like somebody <laughs> taking a part of your body oh it's just a leg but the good thing about this it'll return yeah and it'll return healthier because dead hair on your head is just not cute anyway and don't worry this is going to just give you a whole new perspective of how you can look at yourself and how you see yourself. You want to feel good about yourself, but if your hair is not healthy, you know you're just going to end up hiding it. And we want you to get to know your hair, be friends with it, have fun with it. Your hair is very soft, which is beautiful. It reminds me of cotton. Mmm, that's beautiful comparison. Oh, good. <laughs> right now, it's looking frizzy, mm -hmm. but the magic will begin. I think we're done with this part and we'll see the big reveal <laughs> soon, okay? Thank you. <laughs> I just look like a total different person. <laughs> I'm so excited, I love it. Thank you for this whole journey. Looking great, how do you I love it! Tossled, tame, towering, or teased. Ponytailed, pressed, or perm to please. Straightened, spiky, shaved, or sewn. Blonde, brunette, or Brazilian blown. A queen is remembered for the life she has led and the cut of the crown that adorns her head. Okay guys, so Cherie came in on yesterday and she got her hair steam treated with one of our treatments. I believe you got the spoil. And uh, with that spoil, it uh, takes care of the scalp and the hair. So it's a good lubricant for the scalp and the hair that steamed into her hair and then it was twisted up. The best way to wear these twists is to let them dry at least overnight. It'll give uh, the best curl pattern. So now we're gonna take these out and see what it looks like. We call this Frozen. It's a nice aloe base gel, and we put it in these little containers personalized for you. Uh, but this gel is just going to, I just rub it off in my hands pretty thoroughly. This will just enhance that curl pattern and lift the hair. Now that just brings out your natural curl pattern, brings some shine and definition. This never happens. So we're just gonna rub, and the more you rub natural hair, the more you get that natural pattern. See how it's really wavy now. And I just want to take a moment for you guys to check out these contestants. Aren't they beautiful? I am so, so proud of them. And our last challenge was the Mother Nature Cleanse. And that's when we ate lots of fresh fruits and vegetables and foods that Mother Nature intended us to eat. And our idea was to scrub, scrub, scrub those intestines so that we can get our tummies nice and flat and take all the inflammation out of the body. And you guys will see on the final weigh-in how they did. The challenge is about how we're feeling our clothes and our body. How do we think about ourselves mentally? What is our approach on our lifestyle and how we're eating? So this is all encompassing of the journey. And how do we monitor that? By collecting raw stars. So this last challenge, the Mother Nature Cleanse, allows us to get one more star before we weigh in and get our additional stars and find out who has the most stars and will become the biggest winner. So without further ado, let's name the winner of the Mother Nature Cleanse Challenge. And the winner is Judy! So you posted this beautiful picture to the app, so you're going to get your Fit, Fierce, and Fabulous jacket because you know, being Fit, Fierce, and Fabulous is not only letting your own raw star light shine, but your light shines and inspires other people. And that's what this show is about community because we are what? Better together! Alright Judy, so you guys spread the word. And we also have a little crown here to remind you that you are in alignment with Mother Nature's desires. Right? <laughs> and this week's winner for the OP's Mother Nature Beautiful Salad Challenge is 
Varafi. Okay, so you guys, you cannot miss. You absolutely cannot miss the strength challenge and the final weigh-in. So stay tuned for something. And you OPs watch too, because one of you lucky winners will get a free trip to my fitness retreat at Sunset Rancho Oasis this May.